water. Here we are today at the canal, dead baiting for pike. So I've got a sardine on a uh, on a pike trace here, sliding float with a float stop there, little weight to keep it down. And yeah, we're just going to walk along the canal, plonk it in here and there, and you know see what happens. Fingers crossed. Right. So idea I'd say is just to cast just over like weed beds and things where they might be hiding. Water's a bit murky, but they they got an incredible sense of smell, so they'll be able to smell this oily bait. I mean, I can smell it from here, so they'll be able to smell it in there. So yeah, fingers crossed we uh, we catch them in. Is it on? You're on. Look at the look at the float. There it is, first pike of the session. This is the first cast. Um, yeah, it's just hooked on the, hook, on the top. We're going to get him unhooked now. I'll show you him a bit better. Ooh, that's a nice run. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one, isn't it? <laughs> there we go. There he is, he's tidy. Not a bad, not a bad start. Yeah. Let's just chop for his leg and get a fair old. Probably, I think it's about three, four pound, I think, but uh, yeah. Not bad, actually. What's that? <laughs> Right, we're trying a new spot now. We've uh, pretty, pretty much fished that one, but yeah, this is what we're going to do. Is any any little bit of feature to cast by, let's keep plodding along. Ten minutes in each place, and just keep going. We're going to cast by those trees. You see, there's there's floats there from people who've uh, tried and failed. So hopefully, I do don't make the same mistake. Perfect. So that concludes the first bit of fishing. It was in my usual spot. I'm now meeting up with my two uncles who, you know, have more expertise in pike fishing than I do. My expertise is dogfish, you know. If it's not a dogfish, you know, I won't catch it. it certainly seems. Well, that's what it's been like this winter. So, yeah, traveled a bit. Uh, brand new spot to me. Uh, I'm going to meet up with them now. And, uh, yeah, we'll hope, hoping to catch some double figures. That's, that's what they've said, double figures. Don't quote me. They said it. So... Fingers crossed. Miserable day. Um, yeah, cast out over those by those margins. Richie just lost one. There's a lot of current in this canal, but um, yeah, we're still still confident. We're gonna fish it for another hour, and maybe go somewhere else. But yeah, quietly confident. Tactics for today: one in close on the bottom, and there's one in the middle of the canal, but it's off bottom. So. Fingers crossed, one of these floats start moving. But yeah, both sardines. I think that's the most productive bait we've had today, so yeah, fingers crossed. Open it out. A nice pike, that is. Bring it down. I didn't even see the light. Oh, just went under. Good job, you see. Oh, bloody hell. Right, you know, isn't it? Nice pike. Oh. I don't want to lose it now. There you go. In and there it goes. Yeah, it's a better one than mine. Where, 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 where'd the float go? Did you go under? Yeah, I just seen it go under and then, and then I just went over. There's so much. Um... It didn't even bob, it just went straight under. Oh, God. I didn't even know. I, there were so many straight sticks and stuff on there. There you go. So we haven't got a pipe to show you because it's actually. Slipped the hook in the net and swam off. Um, but yeah, these things happen. But uh, we go again. I think 
the other uncle's just had a bite as well on a float. So yeah, things are looking good. Yeah, you can see that floats going, gnawing in close. I, I just got full, full of weeds. Um, I'm gonna try and net in there. Oh, it's, just, it's a monster. But yeah, look at his eyes. <laughs> right, okay, put the camera down for a sec. Gonna have to scale. That's my hand. Jesus right. Christ. That's solid eight pound right there. Because <sighs> it's back in the water. So in that video, you see me use the scissors. I could get the um, the hooks out, but it was all intertwined. Within the within the mouth, and it was all a bit of a mess. So to protect the fish, because I don't want to keep it out of the water for too long, just snip off the trace. You know, you lose a trace, but you know, fish is healthy. goes back with no problems whatsoever. He darted off, to be fair. You think he'd had enough of me, but yeah, just protection for the fish, really.